Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to SageLine 50. In this short podcast we're going to show you how you set up a product. So we're going to find the screen for products. Here we are. And we're going to go up and we're going to enter a new product. We are going to be asked first of all for our product details and we are going to have a McTavish uh, let's say we're going to have an electric chainsaw and it comes up with a code which we probably want to shorten so we'll probably shorten most of that in fact and we will say it is a MACT chainsaw uh, the location, if you've got a large warehouse, you might want to put down the location. So we'll say we keep these normally in aisle 5. Uh, we're not interested in the categories, so we'll move on to the next one, which is our selling price. We're going to sell these at £210. They're going to have VAT on. We'll check the nominal code. These are machinery and tool sales, so we can leave that as it is. The unit of sale is basically each. In other words, we're selling these off one at a time. This is going to become a stock item. We could have non-stock items or service items. But we'll make this a stock item. And now we are not interested in the, the ECVAT description is if we're trading overseas in the European community. We're not going to deal with that. So we're going to go to the next one. Now the supplier account here, this says who we're going to get these from. So we're going to get, obviously, if it's from McTavish, we're going to get them from McTavish. And then there may be a part reference, but in this case we're going to assume there isn't. The nominal code, it's going to stay as it is for machinery and tools purchased. OK. The reorder level, we wait until we've got, say, three of these in, and then we will reorder ten at a time and the cost price which is usually the last price we paid for them we'll say at the moment the cost price is 100 and no there isn't an opening balance we don't have any of these in stock so I'm going to create this item I now need to change the view to the products and you can see that I have two products now in my list I have some Harris lawn mowers of which I have 10 in stock with a sales price of 133 and we have the McTavish chainsaw and note that we have none in stock and that of course is why it's coming up in red that's to tell me that I now need to order some McTavish chainsaws so that's setting up an item for sale um, it's called a product here of course when we've got them we would say that those would be items in inventory a very old term used to be that we called them items in stock but these days the term inventory is used thank you